When you look at me, do you see a hardened criminal? Someone uh, whose life has been tainted by crime? Well, I'll, I'll have you know I, I was a criminal indeed in, in a past life. I've, I've since reformed. I've since changed my ways and am now coming to, coming to YouTube to tell you about why you should not commit the crimes that I committed. So, t today I am going to be telling you the story of how I unknowingly created an illegal video game and how they pretty much nobody found out until now because I'm I'm telling you about it. And also, y you might not have known this if you're new around YouTube, but uh, the subscribe button exists. You should check it out. So anyways, a few years back, I started learning how to make video games, right? And uh, I was working in Blender. I was just making whatever kind of games I could think of. Anything. And so one day I was looking for game ideas. So I'm scrolling through the app store this one day, right? And I see this game on one of the, the front pages called Tap Red. And, and so I, I click on this game and I'm like, wow, this game is really simple. There's a white square and there's a red square on you know each side of the screen and they swap places. And your goal is to just tap on the red square like as many times as you can. And so <laughs> I see this game and I go, hmm. I could make that, and I did. I copied it, like, completely, to a T. I even called my game Tap Red. And so this, this, is, this is the illegal part, right? Obviously, you're not allowed to just steal somebody's idea. But I also didn't get caught, so we'll, uh, we'll get into that part. So I go into Blender, right? That's where I was learning to make games, just in the Blender game engine. And so I, I throw in some, a couple planes, right? And I animate them to move back and forth. I, you know, I add a score system, I add difficulty modes. I don't know if I've ever even beaten it. It's so incredibly frustrating and terrible. I, I hate, I freaking hate this game. I decided I wanted to publish it somewhere. I wanted to get it out into the world and get feedback on my fabulous creation, right? I uploaded the, the dot blend file to a website called BlendSwap. Now, you, you may have heard of BlendSwap before. And BlendSwap is a, it's a popular website where you can find just Blender files. People upload them for free, and then you can download them under various different license terms and use them in whatever kind of projects. And so sometimes I would put random little game prototypes on BlendSwap. At the time, I didn't know what like Itch.io was or, or anything like that. I don't, I don't even know if Itch.io was around back then. It probably was in some form or another. But in any case, I would put my games on BlendSwap. And so I put it up there and people actually, like they would download it and they would play it. And I think I, you know, I got some comments here and there about it. And uh, eventually I, I learned that um, copyright laws and um, IP laws and all that kind of stuff exist. I mean, I, I was only like 12 at the time. So I, I didn't know any of this stuff even was a thing. So that, that was all new to me, but I ended up removing it. Nobody found out. Nobody knew that I copied, just shamelessly copied this random game. But you know, here's the crazy part is I've tried to find the original game since. I've tried multiple times to find it, but it's, it's not on the app store anymore. Um, I've tried searching the web for other information about tap red and I haven't been able to find anything. So that was kind of sad. I'd, I'd love to find the, the original game. I, I think it would be interesting to, you know, find the, the developers who originally made and just be like, hey, I, uh, I copied your game and put it on some random website one time. What do you think of that, huh? Once again, hey, the subscribe button exists. If you enjoyed this video at any point, be sure to subscribe. I've, I've been sharing stories about old video games I've created. So subscribe, watch some of my other videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.